Welcome back, everyone, to the Lobster Roll Series Week 3. Our main host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we are into the Winner's Finals. That's right. We are close to being done the Well, we're like halfway done. Winner's Finals is about halfway point in a double elimination tournament. And we have Gota versus Randy as our winners, who are finally fighting. That was terrible. I'm well aware of that. I'm here all week. Anyway, let's go on to the match itself. We are on... We are on Cobalt Dream. And we are going to be watching another Tank Mirror as Gota and Randy decide to go for that. Although Randy going more defensive, getting starting out with a Welder, not with a Kodachi. Gota, of course, starting with Kodachi because Kodachi rating is what Gota does. As always, Gota is a very strong micromanagement player. Randy also, though, going for that high ground energy. It was pointed out in chat that that was base or not in chat, it was pointed out in the spec chat to that was done to avoid getting overdrive use of energy, which you might think, well, wouldn't you want overdrive? And I can kind of see why you wouldn't, because the more energy you have on overdrive, the less goes into storage for when you start reclaiming and building metal, and there's less of a buffer. You just wanted to go straight to production. Because overdrive does cost energy in order to get metal. So yeah, once you get enough, like, once you get tons of energy, and you're full up, you, then yeah, overdrive is not really a cost. Ooh, nicely done. Getting rid of Goda's first Kodachi without any issue whatsoever. Second one coming in going to be a little bit harder to get rid of. There isn't that support force of the welder. Or apparently the constant flow of time as Goda seems to need a break or something? Oh. Weird. Okay. Health bar widget either screwed up or they hit F7. All right. So, we have, like I said, there's Randy chasing off the Kodachi with their own. Just keeping that at bay. That works. I mean, Gota and Randy actually... Randy ahead! Randy way ahead when it comes to their overall economy. Gota hasn't really been producing any metal with anything but their commander. So, unfortunately, now, of course, Kodachi's Kodachi versus Kodachi, whoever's retreating, does win. And Randy looking to intercept. Doesn't quite get the intercept, unfortunately. So there, Kodachi still remains basically impossible to deal with. Finally getting hit. There it goes. And that metal extractor, will it go down? No, it won't. Metal extractor lives. Kodachi dies. And that means Randy is still ahead. And these Kodachis are going to heal up themselves. They do regenerate health. So Randy's slowly building up a nice Kodachi force to deal with Gota's Kodachis. And that might actually be devastating. Gota's still kind of struggling with the economy. They've got a welder up. They're starting to build up metal extractors that way. But Randy's already way ahead of them when it comes to actually advancing with metal extractors. Gota's only trick is that they're going straight through the center. They're being extremely aggressive with their metal extractors. And I mean, that is... That's dangerous, that's sketchy, but it might just work. I mean, right now, Randy doesn't really have a lot of ways in with her Kodachis. They did just lose one, trying to find some harassment potential. And they won't be able to get rid of this metal extractor. They've spotted it, they'll be able to damage it, but it won't die by the time- Oh no, wait, it will! Oh, okay, that was risky, that was too risky. Okay, I should, be, I should have clarified. It won't die if they want the Kodachi to live, and that really wasn't worth it. One metal extractor for a Kodachi is not a fair trade. Like, metal extractor, 75 metal, and... Okay, there's two per second, but... Oh, sorry, 90 metal, my bad. Right, they got changed. But yeah, that has to be out for a minute. Like, if Gota doesn't rebuild it within the next minute, then yeah, the Kodachi death was worth it. So far, though... Actually, it might be worth it. So far, though, it's not been rebuilt because there's no welders behind there that's actually dealing with it. So Randy might have had the absolute right idea. There's nothing to rebuild that. That's why I always say you got to kill the builders first, or kill the constructors first, because killing the constructors means they can't rebuild the metal extractors. So, like, sacrificing a Kodachi to kill a metal extractor in a main base where there's any number of workers nearby, that is not a good 
gambit at all. But doing it in the middle of the field where there's nothing there to rebuild it, and actually has been a minute, that Kodachi was worth it. So doing it in the middle of the field like that where rebuilding is not likely, that pays off. And so far, Randy has managed to keep a reasonable amount of control. Gota still has soft control over basically this entire, like, three-fifths of the map. Although Randy should be able to take this, no problem. There's, Randy has nothing actually holding onto it so far. This Kodachi is projecting a decent amount of force, though. Not much, but a welder would probably not want to go through there. Granted, at the same time, we might see... Well, no, Randy already kind of has this area sort of in their control. It's soft control. It, like, Gota, Gota and Randy haven't, any, haven't come close to taking the territory. But there's an attack. Ooh, very strong attack coming in here. Welder will... Will it go down? It will go down. Yeah, the Lotus is down. The Welder... Actually, maybe it won't go down. No, the Welder will survive. Just barely. Still, though, two metal extractors. Three metal extractors down. Welder's coming around as well. That Welder is not going to die. But there has still been a significant amount of damage dealt to Gota's base. While Randy has been building alongside this. And setting up some units in the back. While also setting up the Kodachis to take the southwest, which Gota is actually already taking. I think Gota meant to build caretakers there, but I'm not 100% sure. Not sure why urchins? I say caretakers because the default hockey setup, caretakers and urchins are like the opposite order, but I know Gota uses gestures, or at least used gesture builds, so I have no idea how that happened. At any rate, urchins. <laughs> Lead into all sorts of global warming jokes, but yeah. I, mean, I guess this is supposed to be cobalt-laden ice rather than just solid cobalt. That makes sense. Still the- oh, Randy! They're trying to cut off Gorda! Oh, that is sneaky! I go to his direct reinforcement path, now there's a bunch of lotuses in the way. So when you do that, and then, you know, it kind of weakens the ability to reinforce this section. Although Gota still has a path w by which to do so, and of course their commander is up front. Although their commander might not be lasting long. For some reason, Gota directly trying to face off against these lotuses, putting themselves in a tricky spot. Granted, the lotuses in the back will defend them against any Kodachi dives. Or so the theory goes. It looks like Randy might be willing to put that to the test. However, the fact that Randy has blocked off Gota's reinforcement path is just... I don't think I've ever seen this in a 0k game. This kind of play. Of literally cutting off your opponent. Like, I make comparisons between Go and 0k occasionally. And this is the clearest comparison of just cutting off... Like, this is, this is a relatively common Go move. This is never something I've seen in 0k. So with that, Randy's looking very strong. Economy-wise, economy they're even. But now Randy... Oh, if they can take this fight, that's the key thing. If they can take out the Kodachis with all these blitzes. But the Ogres could pose a problem. Randy's commander, very far up a field. They have the Nanolathe. That is handy. Oh, they got rid of one of the Ogres. Second Ogre could go down. It's hard to tell. Why is my game locking up? Why? Okay, sorry. I don't know why. I'm having weird computer trouble since this morning. Not sure why the game went locked up there, but all the Kodachis died. All the Blitzes also died. The Ogres are still up and being very scary, but Randy has maintained control over this, and at the same time, Kodachi's coming along the side, wiping out all the metal extractors, killing off that reinforcement path as well, leaving Gota's commander and basically all this stuff here out in the cold. So, Gorda is... Okay, what the hell is going on? Oh, my GPU is over... Okay, sorry, my GPU is apparently overheating. That explained it. Hopefully that's not messing up the compression. Uh, I'm going to say Afterburner is on, right? Sorry, I'm... Ugh, this heating issue. I don't know why it's happening. 
My fan should be running a lot faster than it is. Ah, all right. Why aren't you running at full tilt boogie? I'm sorry, this is really distracting, but it's just, I can't, I clearly can't do anything. The game keeps freezing. Ugh, come on. Well, at any rate, Randy, Randy coming in, taking advantage of the position they had with that setup, allowing them to, what the hell? Well, anyway, Randy's won. That's the important thing. Randy has won. I don't know if this is actually even coming through or just cutting off every time the game freezes. <sighs> yeah, that makes my what's been going on today. Okay, Randy maybe hasn't won. No, they got they got pushed back. And actually, there's a bit of a counterattack coming in here from Golda with a bunch of ogres and not much to deal with them. Emissary does not count as an answer to ogres. Other ogres do, though. Yeah, Golda going, going for a bit of a last-ditch play here over on Randy's base. They managed to save their own base, and they got... Ooh, got rid of the emissary, too. Oof. Two ogres down, and me desperately... Yes, let me just play afterburner. Me fighting my computer to let me actually set my GPU fans to, you know, a good amount. The GPU doesn't keep overheating. And, okay. That should hopefully fix things. Or... Well, maybe. I don't know why it's... Screw it. Fan speed 100%. I don't care. Both a bloody GPU, so it doesn't do anything. Sorry, I'm getting really distracted. This is... Ah, this isn't relevant. Okay, the stream isn't cutting out. Awesome. That was what I was worried about. As long as it's just the game freezing and you can still hear my audio, that's fine. It's not ideal, but it's better than the alternative. Sorry, because the GPU is handling the video encoding as well. That's why I wanted to make sure I wasn't causing additional freezes. Oh, okay. Macfire in the chat pointing out the game might have a memory leak problem, which, I mean, that doesn't explain the stuttering. That's more likely a GPU thing, but that... It looks like it might be the case. It's certainly using up a lot of... It seems like 3 gigs of RAM for... And I've been running it the entire time. So I'll restart 0k after... In between Winner's Finals and Grand Finals. Or sorry, Winner's Finals and... Not Grand Finals. That's a long time between the two. Winner's Finals and... I'm probably gonna... Well, see how long this takes. Probably do a Loser's Quarterfinals match. I don't know how long this is going to take. It looked like it was going to be over two minutes ago, but now it's kind of not clear. Golden's commander has gone down. That is a big blow. No, it's 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 pretty close to over. Randy does have a massive amount of control. Golda has all these defense turrets in the center, which is something the Minotaurs can deal with without issue, so that's fine. And that looks like... Oh, well, Golda, Golda's swearing, and that is game. Once Golda starts swearing, the game is over. That is that. Randy moves on to the Grand Finals, and Gorda will be given another chance to get back in this. So, we'll be back with that. We have... We'll be back with the Losers Quarterfinals with Steel Blue and whoever wins between Madcraft and Bloa. So stay tuned for that. We'll be It'll be a bit of a longer break now, so feel free to go and get whatever stuff you need, any like tea or food or popcorn or I don't know, whatever you, whatever needs need being met in the meantime. And then we'll be back here in about probably five minutes, I would think. I'll obviously be back when I'm back. So stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> 